Don't forget to do a little bit of posing while you're going. Definitely helps you get more gains. Welcome back to Self Built. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the utility of BFR bands. I've been playing with these again and today I'm going to share a real world utility that you can use these for. I'm going to be building some triceratops going on. I'll show you what we're going to be doing and show you what these things are for. If you don't know what these are, these are BFR bands or blood flow restriction bands or the OGs out there know this as occlusion training. Basically what it's doing is it's limiting the amount of blood flow that is going to go into your whatever appendage you're wrapping this on and it helps it get fatigued with much less weight and a lot less strain on that muscle or joint it starves the nutrients going into the muscle and it basically tricks the body into thinking it's training a lot harder than it is and it creates some stimulation to it you get a really good pump doing these and you get a long lasting burn Kind of similar to like when you're training calves, how you get a burn and it doesn't really go away. It just kind of stays there for a while. The reason I'm doing this training today, I was helping a friend move two days ago and my elbows aren't feeling 100% yet. They're close, but I still want to train them, but I don't want to do, a, but I want them to rest at the same time. So this is kind of giving me that best of both worlds to where I'm going to get good stimulation and be taking it easy on the joints because you use about half the normal weight about 50 or 60 percent of weight that you normally do you do a little bit higher reps you're never going to try to get a new max when you're doing this because you're putting your muscles in a compromised position to where they're not recovering as well as they should be i recently did a video of training biceps on this and the whole workout was bfr or occlusion training and i was surprised how sore i got i used to do this a lot and then it kind of just fell out of rotation and then i picked them up again and I was like, oh yeah, so let's play, let's try these things out. And yeah, definitely remember why they were good. So I'm going to keep doing them. But all you do is you just pump. You don't want to do like super aggressive, super explosive movement when you're doing this. At least for me, I feel like I get the best out of it. When I just kind of pump it, go for higher reps, 10 to 50, or 10 to 20 reps, something like that. With it being lighter weight, kind of helps you focus on getting better execution of the exercise. The first set might not feel too fatiguing. I'm going to do actually a tri set. So I'm going to move on to this one just because I want to finish out my workout pretty quick and get a good exercise at the same time. Yeah, starting to feel that fatigue kicking in a lot. <laughs> and I'm only doing, you can't see it, but I'm only doing a total of 25 pounds on here. So you'll be going much lighter. And after the second or third set, you're really going to start feeling that fatigue and that pump. It's just not going to go away. As far as the tightness with them on your arms, you want to do about a 7 out of 10 tightness. Not too tight if you start to get discoloration or if you start to feel your nerves firing and feeling kind of funny loosen it up a little bit just kind of a reference you got to kind of feel it out and see what works best for you <clears throat> one tip that i would add is before you put the bands on do either a full exercise just to get the blood into the tricep or do a couple warm-up sets that way it's already got blood in and then once you cut it off it's already kind of there blood still gets into your muscles but i just like to already have a little bit of something in there just my personal preference so you can try it out and see what you think <laughs> whoop already hitting some major burning going on <clears throat> jump to this one you don't have to do supersets like this this is just what i want to do today benefit you might enjoy is if you're lean enough you might get some extra vascularity which 
always makes it seem like you're getting a better workout. <sighs> Come on, arms. Get going. If you're wanting to turn up the intensity on these in between sets, just flex your arms. You don't have to do exactly like a tricep exercise. I can just do this and I'm feeling my triceps burning. You can of course do some posing if you want, a little bit of something, but you don't have to, or you can just hold your arms out. Feels really good, but yeah, just another way to make it a little bit more intense off of on top of what you're already doing. You can use this type of training for chest, surprisingly, biceps, arms, forearms, legs. You can do a lot of stuff with these. You can pick them up pretty cheap too. Last time I looked, I think they were like under 20 bucks, even for these. So I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find them or at least see what they look like and see if you're interested. I like these ones because they're meant, they're marked so you can know exactly if you're even as far as tightness on each arm. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, <laughs> it feels pretty funny doing very lightweight. But after your workout, you will feel a deep level of fatigue. I did feel that after I was doing biceps. I was like, what the heck? I mean, it's been a minute since I've done it, so it felt a little newish to me. But I was like, I only curled like a max of like 25 pounds in each arm, but it works. You can't argue with that. If I'm getting sore, then I'm doing it. Just do a couple cluster sets in here because I'm feeling this is going to be the last set I'm doing because I'm running out of steam. And the nice thing is my joints feel totally fine with such a lightweight Joints don't care. It's not getting much blood flow, but the muscles sure do. Give it a second break. All right, here we go, back in. It feels weird, because it's such a light weight, but then when you try to actually do it, your muscles are just like, nope, mm -mm, we're, not, we're not recovered, and we're freaking tired. And last set on this, I think I'm gonna call it good. Just try to focus on just getting in that muscle, getting some squeeze, get some pump in there. Just get as many reps as you can. Because once you're able to select the correct weight and the fatigue starts to kick in, you really can't do that much anyway. Resting right here. A little hunchback of Notre Dame. <sighs> I know I'm only getting baby reps, but the burn is telling me to keep going. Do a little bit of posing while you're going definitely helps you get more gains and that's the end of this video hopefully you found it helpful and educational the next time you need to take it easy on a certain joint or if you just want to change something up definitely give these a shot you can also use them as like a deloading phase to where you're using less weight but you're still getting a great stimulus and getting fatigued and getting sore which to me soreness equals growth as long as you're recovering thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe with all your friends and don't forget to tune in for more i'm self-built